otherwise would not have made. I think one of the interesting things as well, if you know London, London can be quite a sort of a lonely, lonely. place yeah. in many ways. Yeah. If you're there for a reason, that connection is something that just yeah. certainly breaks down barriers. You start talking. It does, it does. Interest. Well, look, still ahead on Good Morning Britain, King Charles is the hardest working man Paddy Harvison says he's ever known and he should know. He's the King's former communications secretary, worked with him for a long time, and he's going to tell us more about how the monarch works with his own family. Yeah, looking forward to catching up with Paddy shortly. Right now we're going to get the news, weather and travel way up. See you in a bit. Good morning, I'm Zoe Muldoon with the headlines from Granada. The Earl and Countess of Wessex will be in Manchester later to sign a book of condolence for the Queen at the Central Library. Prince Edward and Sophie will light candles at the cathedral and visit St Anne's Square to see flowers and tributes left there. This is the first royal visit to the North West since Her Majesty died. In last night's football, a period of silence for the Queen was held at the Etihad before Manchester City's match against Borussia Dortmund. City won that match 2-1. And the funeral takes place later of nine-year-old Olivia pratt Corbell, who was shot dead in Liverpool. Olivia died last month after a man armed with two guns burst into her home in Dovecot. Children from her school won't be attending the funeral, but they'll be remembering her in their own special way. They'll be watching her favourite film, Matilda. Now here's Joe with the weather forecast. Hello, good morning to you. A fine start. Any mist and fog lifting quickly. Lots of sunshine for northwest England and the Isle of Man. A cool northerly breeze today, but staying dry this afternoon with slightly more cloud around. Temperatures will get to 16 or 17 Celsius. Pleasant in the sunshine, but feeling fresher over the next couple of days. Bye bye. Thanks, Joe. That's it from me this morning. We'll be back at lunchtime. Now it's over to Ben and Kay to see you soon. Bye bye. Twenty-seven minutes past eight. If you're thinking that maybe you'd like to join the queue to uh, pay your respects to the Queen, who's lying in state at Westminster Hall, this is the current state of it. It is extending as people are waking up and joining up to 2.6 miles. I think it was two miles when we came on air at six o'clock. Yeah, morning. it's gone up and down, hasn't it? Even while we've been on air, so it's obviously fluctuating around that. Mile. Borough Market being the nearest landmark. If you want to aim for that, that's London Bridge. Uh, you can get down there and that's just moved again. Now Southwark Cathedral, it's saying, is the nearest landmark and it's gone up 2.8 while we've been talking. It was at about two and a half hour wait. It is moving pretty quickly, though, isn't it, from what we've seen? Yeah, it doesn't seem like you're standing mm. for that long, which, which might help that wait. Well, Lorna Shaddock is with mourners who've already queued, had the moment to pay their respects to the Queen. Good morning, Lorna. Um, it's a long queue and it's a challenge to get to the point to start the queue for many. But how are people feeling after they've been in? 